Okay, Bubble Buddies, this is a mystery box from YouTube channel auctions for you. So I just <clears throat> reached out to T at auctions for you and I told her I was interested in a mystery box and to make it $150. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, before we get started, I just want to mention this, and then we're going to get into numbers, and then I'm going to unbox it. Also, go and check out this video right here. Um, I just recently did this video and I invited all of their, um, people that buy from them to share a big money bolo that they bought from them and resold on eBay for a profit. You have got to see some of these bolos just incredible. All right, bolo buddies, let's talk about this mystery box. Oh my goodness. I have already sold eight items. And not including shipping, just like the price of the item, $225.04, okay? So the box cost me $150 free shipping. So I've already made my money back plus $75. And I have $894 worth of goods still listed in my eBay store. So... In this video, I'm going to unbox everything and I'm going to give you the breakdown of how I listed everything. I'm going to show you what has sold so far and what I have the other items listed for. And we're going to get started here. But this box was a home run and I'm just going to show you. But yeah, I've already like made tons of money on it <laughs> and there's so much listed. So now, the $894, I do have best offer and I do send offers. So that could come down some, but uh, best case scenario, another $894 I could make on this. So let's get started. So, and that's free shipping. So $150 free shipping. So we are going to see what we have here. I'm going to pop-up screen shares of how I list everything, but as you see me unboxing it, I have no clue values of items. I have no clue what's in here. Um, so we are gonna check it out. All right, so I got a bag to my right. I'm just gonna kind of transfer things in. So we have this My Baby Bear, and it is Ty. We have another tie. It says it's got a sticker on it, so we'll pull that off. Oh, this guy's kind of fuzzy. I don't know what he's made of. 1993. So cute. We have a room fragrance apple. Partially used. I may just uh, keep that if it smells good. <laughs> All right, we have this girl. Um, she has a belly button. Oh, it's one of those, uh, okay. I've seen these before. Their hair grows. Is it a Christy or Chrissy doll? I don't know. I, I could be totally wrong. I'll have to look it up. But it says on the back, 1971 Ideal Toy Corp. And then let me see, 1969 on the neck. So she's got on this little crop top and these shoes. I know that Auctions for You just got um, a huge doll lot. Look at her earrings. So, um, but yeah, you. I forget how you get the hair out. Maybe you push the belly button to pull the hair out. Yeah, so you push the belly button and then you wind her hair up to make her hair short. It's kind of weird, right? I don't know if this has been cut or if that's how it's supposed to look like. So, got to do some research on her. Okay. We have this little lady. 
she don't see a tag so I don't know if she's just like a folk art thing or handmade so not seeing any markings so have to use Google Lens see if I can find something on her oh okay this is a Tupperware scoop um, you know what I'm gonna come back to this bag I may adjust my screen a little so and same with this one because my angle is a little weird and it's hard holding my hands up so we'll get this big stuff out of here first this my Disney girl never heard of that um, yeah I don't know who it is so we'll have to look her up her hair is actually not too bad sometimes you get them and they have just completely ratty hair so Okay, what is this? Tattoo sleeves looks real for boys or for guys and girls. Huh. Oh my goodness, that's kind of funny. So I got a whole bunch of those, which could be good for like Halloween. So, never seen those before. Pirates of the Caribbean. Let me find my scissors and open this up and see what we got here. Maybe. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Um, so they say Disney 2007 Hawthorne Village. So uh, not something I am familiar with. And I got to figure out how to get these back in here. Does it go this way? or that way oh my maybe it's this and this I don't know I think maybe like that okay so I will definitely have to research those those are not something I've ever seen or heard of my crocs are squeaking another bag so we'll get to that um we have a headless I think that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um he's missing body parts so don't know what this goes to um 1998 star wars it's something star wars and maybe this goes with it as well might be able to use google lens on those i have no clue my twin crutches which is a doll and then we have a a wheelchair for a doll. Um, this one's much fancier than anything I've ever seen. Um, I don't see any marking as on which doll it's for. So um, this little piece is right here. So I think I just got to pop it back on. I'm not sure. So, um, oh, here on the back, my twin. So the crutches and the the crutches go with that. Okay. Didn't think to look at the back. We have this Schleich. Um, it's like a little manual that tells the different toys. Somebody's probably looking for that. We have a bag of a bag of smalls. So we'll look at that here in a minute too when I change my camera angle. Um, a maraca. Let's go this way with it. Um, I don't know what that says. Atlantic City. So probably just like a souvenir deal. Um, or maybe that's not Atlantic City. I don't know what that says because it says Mexico. So check that out. We have a Clash Combat shooter, kind of like a, a Nerf gun. Another uh, just manual, Femra. 
water blaster. So a squirt gun, but it's missing the top thing. So I don't know if I can do anything with that. More replacement shooters. And then we got two more bags in here. So we are gonna, so I'm gonna turn the camera off and change the angle here and show you guys what else I got. Okay. Um, Celtics Boston, I don't know what this is. So have to Google lens or use the words on that to look it up. Um, don't know what this is either. <laughs> I do like stuff like this because it gives me the opportunity to learn and help everyone else learn. TWA. Huh. It's like, it's a bolo. It's a bolo. It's got some condition issues here. Um, I don't know. Don't see any markings. Uh, this is another Tupperware something. Uh, Tupperware usually has a number on it, which can help you look it up. So a magnet. Mm, this says 1991. Uh, keychain for Verizon. We've got a little pin that says Hallmark Cards. We have a fan. Eek! Uh-oh. Maybe I'll get it back together. I'm thinking that's a Girl Scout patch. Uh, chopsticks. A stir. Just a hodgepodge of stuff. This is a replacement door to something, if I can figure it out. I like doing replacement doors. I sell those a lot. Um, just a little lanyard, I think that's what it's called. A little light hang your keys Tupperware also Tupperware this stuff I think is all Tupperware so I will definitely use those numbers to figure out what some of this stuff is Hong Kong but it looks like Tupperware what are these Sock sorter? <laughs> sock sorter? What on earth? Okay, sock sorters. We'll have to look those up. Those are Tupperware. Tupperware lid, Tupperware shoe horn thing. Some more sock sorters. Uh, welcome to Walmart. Kansas City. It's a pen. Troop. 691, some sort of patch. Uh, St. Anthony Church. Another Tupperware thing. I have no idea what this is. Oh my. What on? I don't know. Anybody know? Another popsicle top. Another shoe thing, a lid, salt and pepper lid. No clue what that is. More sock sorters. Believe, little rock. And then some stirs. And this is a little um, wade. Um, Wade England, um, they sell little figurines like this. Okay, so that's that bag. My little trinket things. All right, what do we got here? 
these Pokemon balls. Um, they're empty and I don't know if these are the McDonald's ones. Let me see if I can look here, get a closer look. It says 1999 Nintendo BFI. So this is just a little bag of those. They're all empty, so they're just the cases. So I'm not sure what that, what those go to. All right, let's look in this little pretty bag. She's got pretty bags. I love the teal and the purple and. What on earth? What is this? Live to ride, ride to live, Harley Davidson. <laughs> what is it? Is it a, um, uh, a gas cap? Maybe? Huh, I'll have to look that up. Interesting. See, I love stuff like this because all this stuff, like, I'm not familiar with it. I can't tell you a darn thing about it right now. I'm just unboxing it and then I'm going to research and show you guys what I find out. Okay, now we got this one. Um, we have some doll clothes. There's a hanger. Um, I have to figure out what these go to because she has tons of dolls right now. This one, maybe there'll be some identifying information like my twin. Oh, there's her little hospital gown, which goes with her wheelchair and the crutches. So maybe I could sell that all as one set. Chatty baby. Um, it's got some condition issues, but may still sell. We'll have to look. I, this one. I'm looking for a tag to see if I can figure out who it goes to. So I will try Google Lens on these two items. It might pick it up. So like I said, right now, Auctions for You has tons and tons of dolls and doll clothing and accessories and stuff like that. So, um, all right, we have another bag here. This one looks like a bunch of smalls also. So we got another Tupperware thing. We got this Santa that says made in Hong Kong. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, um, I have no idea what that is. Some sort of necklace or something. Um, it's an old uh, witch cookie cutter. My pet Boston Terrier, tie tack, angel tie tack, or pin. Hairs looking at you. Ouch. Um, what is this? It's a mustache comb and mirror combo. How funny is that? Macho mustache, huh? That's fun. I kind of like that. It's something I would totally pick up. Here's another uh, United Features Syndicate. couple more Wade figures. We have this guy. I think they're Wade, actually. No, this one isn't Wade. I don't know what this is. It just says Hong Kong. This one's Wade. I think. It usually says it. I don't see it on that one. Huh. But it sure seems like it. I could be wrong. I'll see if I can find it. Here's a Garfield pin. Happy it's a little uh, noisemaker. Never seen that before. Uh, natural amethyst, AAA authentic gemstone. See it in there? It's a little, I have no idea. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think it's one of these but I still don't know what it is. So there's quite a few of those in here. Uh, Spring 69 Aviation HS, 
think that says aviation. So an old pin back. We have, I don't know what this is. Huh. Oh, it's a pendant. Maybe it goes this way. I don't know. A spoon. Victor S. Company. Uh, it says something down here, but I can't. I don't know what it says. Wall. W-A-L-D. I don't know. You guys see that? Have to dig on that one a little. Snickers! A little Snickers bear. Looks like 1980s maybe. There's a couple of those. There's four of them. Wow, there's five of them. Okay, we got some Snickers bears. Never seen those before. Uh, here's a little uh, Hallmark pin. I like selling those. We have a little baggie of something here. Let's see what we got in the little baggie. All right, we have this. Um, feels cold. I think it's an, a natural stone. We have this. A pendant. Couple necklaces here. We have this little crown pin. Don't see anything marked on it. We have this. Oh, it says something, I think. Or is that just tarnish, maybe? I don't know. Let me see. I don't know if that's. You guys see if you guys can see that. See those little dots like up there? I don't know if that's a marking or just... Huh. It's pretty. And we have this little cutie. Is that a pineapple? A rhinestone pineapple? No markings. Okay, we have... I don't know what this is. Huh, anybody know what that is? And we have this little bag of goodies. Let's see what we got in here. I am gonna be busy. There's a lot of stuff here. We got this little bracelet. Holy cow. And then we have all this, so. Um, don't see any markings on those. I don't know how I'm gonna identify these. They may just be um, something that I just have to, I'm so bad with jewelry. This says Persona, I can't, does that say 925 on it? Might be a little 925 bead. I'm not, here, this one might be bigger. I don't have, I have glasses and it's hard for me to, so I'll have to look those up. We got this little uh, Mickey Mouse it says something on the back also. Disney something. A couple more pair of earrings here. Uh, tie tack, I think. Is that, or not tie tack, tie bar. Another pretty bead. Not familiar with that brand, so I'll definitely have to look it up. Here's another, I think that goes to a tie also. Pretty little uh, brooch. So, put this stuff back in the bag so I don't lose anything. All right, let's see. We got a few more things in here. We got a couple more of these Snickers little Snicker guys. They're flocked. So, if you don't know what flocked means, it's kind of like a fuzzy uh, covering, usually over plastic or some, something else. This is probably hard plastic under here, but you see how it's flocked? So, flocked will be a keyword that I use. A, B, C, special A, B, C recognition. And I have no idea what these are. Is that Taylor Swift or no? Who is that? I don't know what these are. They're like little pieces of paper with pictures on it. 
So we'll have to figure that one out. She probably has no clue either. She probably just threw stuff in the bag. Okay, we are good. I think that's everything. So I am excited to start to list these items. So um, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Okay, I almost forgot to come back to this little bag of um, just miscellaneous little toys. I'm gonna show you what's here. Um, this one is something Lego, so that could be a replacement part. These are all just little knickknacks, replacement toy parts. Uh, they go with something, figuring it out. That can be difficult. I love selling uh, smalls. I like selling replacement parts. So this is right up my alley if I can figure out what they go to. So that one has some numbers in it, so we'll see if I can figure it out. This is probably just going to go in the trash. <laughs> it's one of those like light up rings. That one is Knex. That one's Lego. And I don't know what that one is. Okay, that's everything, guys. All right, Bolo Buddies, let me know what you thought about the box. Um, it was a lot of work, I will tell you that. Uh, the lot that I put on Poshmark, if I would have parted that out, I probably could have made even more money, but. Um, I have so much to do right now and I just had to stop. <laughs> I just said, okay, this is going to be what they call a junk drawer lot. And I just bundled it all together for 50 bucks. Um, I, you know, sometimes, you know how you get stuff and you get to the end and you're just like, I'm tired. I don't want to do anymore. Uh, I was being lazy and I just threw it in a bundle. And then some of those items are coming to whatnot also. So I'm going to make some additional um, cash over there on top of what we talked about in the video. So again, if you're not uh, following me on whatnot, there is a link down in the description. I am Bola Buddies over there. And if you use that link, you're going to get $15 to shop. That's free money if you join with that link. If you're already like uh, on whatnot, then you're not going to get the 15 bucks. But it will take you to my uh, link or my page and you can follow me and that would be awesome. T is also on whatnot. She is T auctions for you over there. So definitely follow her on whatnot. Also, that is who I got this box from. She is auctions for you on YouTube. And that's where she has her selling events and sells to resellers. So definitely subscribe to her channel. She also sells on Donatella Bottolino's channel. So I will link them both down below. Um, they do mystery boxes from time to time. Sometimes if they have a lot of inventory, you can request one. That is what I did in this situation. Um, I like to do the unboxings. I like to um, dig in and, you know, figure out new things that I and learn. It's a great way to learn and it's a great way to help you guys learn about different items that I didn't know about. Like I'm not big into Tupperware. In fact, like in my last Goodwill Ben's video, everybody was screaming at me because I was not picking up the Tupperware. And uh, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle was like, get the Tupperware, get it, get it, get it. And I'm like, oh. So um, it was kind of cool to have some vintage Tupperware in this lot. And we're going to kind of see how it goes. And I already sold the one vintage Tupperware item. So that was cool. If you want to sell on whatnot, I also have a referral link down below and you can click on that and you can fill out the form to sell and it will tell whatnot that I referred you. So it may get you accepted quicker. It may not. I don't know. I've had two or three people tell me, I think three people have told me, yes, it did. And one person got denied, but they were in, I think the category was vintage clothing. And I guess they were told that the category is kind of saturated right now. So maybe don't pick that category. I think I did vintage and thrift. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this video. I've got lots of unboxing videos from things that I bought from Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you on this channel. So go check those out. You basically just put Bolo Buddies and their YouTube channel name in the title at the same time. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. If you made it to the end of the video, let me know I made it to the end of the video. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and thanks for watching.